Good evening, everybody. This is The Force Report on YouTube, here with the first ever Random Review Monday. What is Random Review Monday? Well, I looked in my cupboard where I store everything, and I had a mountain of Star Wars figures that I have picked up everywhere, flea markets, uh, old toy store, uh, things that I've just never opened, things that I've, I thought I needed, but turns out I didn't really need. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with them. Well, the answer is Random Review Monday. They're taking up too much space, carded like this. I have no reason to keep them carded. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one at random. They range from uh, Power of the Force. Uh, we have some Episode 1 in there. Uh, some Power of the Jedi, some Saga Collection, things like that. Range all the way up to uh, Force Awakens and Rogue One stuff, but we probably won't be doing those. But a bunch of older action figures, so um, I thought what better way to um, get some content for the channel and also uh, get some figures out of their uh, out of their cards and get them into a uh, little better storage area than to just review them. Why not? Uh, give us a chance to look at some some cool figures we might have forgotten about or we might have um, never knew existed um, because we, you know we started collecting at one point uh, in our lives or another so what we have here for our first uh, I guess the inaugural um, random review Monday is Adigalia from the Star Wars episode one line this was a Pretty crazy line if you were a collector back then, if you were a Star Wars fan back then. Um, it was the first the first movie line to come out uh, in, a, in quite some time. Uh, there was a mad rush to get these figures. Uh, there was a mad rush to get that guy right there, Darth Maul. Uh, I know he was very popular. I was, I was very young. I was about eight or nine when this movie came out, but I remember these being on the shelves, and I remember buying them. Uh, my first... <laughs> my first episode one figure was actually Watto of my own choosing. Uh, I had a choice of uh, basically any figure that was on the shelf, and I chose Watto. Um, he might even be on the back here. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I had a uh, Kiati Mundi. Um, I have that Mace Windu, but in the uh, Power of the Force sneak preview line, we'll, we'll bust him out. Um, and I definitely had a battle droid. I don't think it was OOM9. He's the commander, but I definitely had battle droids. I never had the Comtech thing, though, but I had a bunch of the chips. But what we have here is Adi Galia. Uh, what's interesting about this character is, uh, one, she's a female Jedi, and when Episode 1 came out, we didn't know that there could be female Jedi. Uh, we knew Leia was strong in the Force, but she certainly wasn't a Jedi in this regard like she is. Um, and another cool thing is that she's got that cool red lightsaber, that crimson lightsaber, um, which everybody sees and thinks bad guy, but um, no, she just happens to have this, uh, this crimson lightsaber. She's a playable character in the cool Episode 1 video game Jedi Power Battles, and she kind of holds her lightsaber in the, in the reverse grip, kind of like Ahsoka Tano, and I always played as her. She was my favorite character, um, that in, in Plo Koon with his cool yellow lightsaber. I picked this up at Big Fun in Columbus, Ohio. They have uh, tons of cool old vintage toys. Um, shameless plug for them, a little free advertising. But that is where the vast majority of these uh, random review figures will come from. Pick them up there um, on the cheap. So let's go ahead and uh, bust her open. We'll see what we got. So we've got to cut open, I think, enough to get her kind of... Right here, you know, I was opening this, and it's really strange to think that this this was created and molded and packaged and and put in a box and driven uh, to a store and put on a shelf and was bought and sold and everything. And, and she's been in this package since 1999, and that just kind of blows my mind that this has been sealed for that long. Obviously, there are figures out there that are much older that are still sealed. Everybody's got the Kenner stuff that are still sealed um, it's been much longer but it's just kind of a cool thing to think about there's the, the cool Comtech chip and when this thing came out and uh, my friends had these and I had a couple of these I thought these were the coolest thing ever and it was always cool to see your friends that, that had ones that you didn't have um, and you could kind of see 
new faces and, and new phrases on the back and the number. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if that uh, is her actual number. The only thing that says along the bottom there is Collection 3. I'm not sure if they were ever numbered like that, but um, that might be the, the way they are. I never had the reader, like I said before. I know a lot of people use these as dog tags, and they put a little chain on them and wore them uh, like that and kind of collected them that way. But cool there. It's a cool little hollow that she's got. On to the figure itself. Smaller figure. Put the lightsaber out here. It's taped in with a single piece of tape. There we go. So she's a smaller figure, obviously, or smaller frame. The uh, cloak is nice and flexible. Sometimes you get those cloaks on the Jedi figures or other figures that are a little too stiff, and you can either wear them and standing and they can not move at all or um, they're the the cloth ones and they look a little bulky but this one's got a nice nice feel to it it's nice and flexible it's a good color too it contrasts well with her uh, her tunic there and there's a nice little hole it's closed off but there's a hole so her arm can still fit through it there but here we have the uh, regular Jedi robes and boots with her headdress a lot of people uh, mistake her character for Stas Ali, but uh, they are of the same species, but uh, they are not the same character. But, and this might just be me just off the top of my head, I think they're related or from the same family uh, or something like that, but two different characters. Adigali is also playable. She's the, one of the main characters in Jedi Starfighter, which is also a very, very good game. Um, and she is featured in the Clone Wars. She is gets some action in there, and she dies by General Grievous's hand. Spoiler alert. She looks good here. She can hold the lightsaber well. She's got a swivel elbow, um, so she's not going to be be posed in a lot of action poses. Um, but that's okay since she doesn't really do a whole lot um, in the films. Um, but it looks good here. Her lightsaber is a really good color. It looks just a tad long, but. Um, no worries about that. It's not as long as some of those Power of the Force action figures. Um, let's see how she stands. We're going to pose her real quick. Get her legs right here. She stands well. Shoulders. Swivel elbow again. Get her feet right. She can stand like that. Take the lightsaber out. This is how she uh, typically holds it when she's in Jedi Power Battle. She holds it with that uh, reverse grip, which I think is pretty cool. It reminds me of Ahsoka Tano. Or I guess Ahsoka Tano reminds me of Adigalia. Put her hand back in there. The robe on. Kind of gives her a little more balance there. She's a little heavier. But she looks good. Um, overall, I would give this figure... About an 8 out of 10, I would say, and that's just uh, kind of an arbitrary number. I just thought of that. I like this, the sculpt. Um, when I was reading about this figure, I've seen some of them that have uh, her eyes are like a... Uh, she has this deer-in-the-headlight look. Her eyes are really wide open, but this one seems to be okay. She's got a little bit of a lazy eye due to the, the paint applications, but at least they're not popping out wide like that. Everything else looks good. Uh, there's some, some good detail on the, uh, the headdress there. And then, of course, her lightsaber. It's a pretty common hilt style. You see that in a lot of other other figures. And then the crimson blade. And then a close-up of her flexi molded cape. Now, Adigali appeared uh, one other time in figure form. She was included um, in a Jedi Council set uh, when they did the, I guess, they were called then or were eventually called the Cinema Scenes. Um, she was included with a young Anakin Skywalker and a, a Sassy Tin, Saucy Tin, however you prefer to be calling it. Uh, it had two chairs and then the floor, and you connected them and made the whole Jedi Council scene. She did include the soft goods tunic from the waist down, and then she had uh, articulated knees uh, so she could bend and actually sit in her chair. That's the only other um, action figure of, of Adi Galia we have. Um, but this is a good one. Um, I definitely recommend if you uh, find her on eBay or something like that, you're looking just for some Jedi, if you're a fan of Jedi figures, um, definitely pick her up. She's a good one. Um, 
Look for more random review Mondays. Uh, obviously, I don't know if I'm going to do them every Monday. It definitely will be on a Monday, though. Uh, there's definitely enough uh, figures here to uh, to get that going every month for quite a while. There, I have I have so many, and I'm at I'm at big fun a lot. So if we're running low, I will definitely pick up uh, some figures so we can uh, keep random review Mondays going. Uh, look for. Uh, more content on my Instagram and here on YouTube, and thanks for tuning in.